is this flow of time? It cannot be in physics because physics doesn't have time. The fundamental equation of physics don't have time. Where it comes from? The time of our experience, the experiential time, as the philosophers call it, is not really the time of physics. There's, there's a gap in between. Where does it come from? It comes from our experience. And our experience comes from the way we are done, from the brain we have. We have a complicated brain, and we relate to the rest of the world via the, the senses and the complicated calculation that happen in our brain. And what does our brain do? Well, it, it brings in the information, it keeps elaborating it, it keeps predicting the future on the basis of the past and uh, anticipate what happened. Um, the way the brain works is to exploit this uh, entropy gradient and the fact there are traces of the past to build memories and in terms of this compute the future and anticipate the future. That's the basic working of the brain according to one of the hypotheses of how the brain works. And this is uh, the machine that creates our illusion that is time for us. The amount of study today in neuroscience um, that try to figure out how our brain works is in large quantity focused on uh, this process of uh, computing the future on the basis of uh, memories. If you think for a moment, and this is a, an old uh, observation, first of all, made by philosophers, it goes back to um, St. Augustine. We know that time flows, we know that there is duration. How do we know, given that in any moment we only have experience of the present? How do we know about the past and the future? St. Augustine writes, suppose you listen to a music, you hear this, the melody. How can you hear the melody, given that in any moment you only see one sound, one note? Well, the answer is clear, because you remember the previous ones. Not only you remember the previous one, but you sort of, that's how music works, you can anticipate what comes. When I listen to music, I get a meaning from a musical phrase, but I never listen to the phrase, I listen to one note at a time. If I listen to one note, how do I know about the previous notes? How can I get the meaning? Well, of course I know, because I remember them. But if I remember them, the meaning comes from the notes being playing now and the memories of the previous one. So it's all in the present, so to say, and it can be all in the present together because there's memory. And our brain is essentially a memory machine, memory used to anticipate the future. This means that this image we have of a present, a past, a future, it's not really about how nature is, but it's about how our brain works. So it's our memory as anticipation, what we really mean when we talk about time, which is somehow connected to physical time, but loosely. What we talk when we're talking about time is the product of the activity of our brain made by memory anticipations, which add, adds to the physical time a lot.